Hello? Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Welcome back. Hello, Gladys Merino. Hello, Ceci. Hello, Carla Rojas. Hello, Elizabeth Vasquez. Hello, Lydia. Hello, William. Hello, Eduardo Hernandez. Hello, Carlos Aviles. How are you, Roberto Perdomo? Welcome back. Hello, Ala Ramirez. Welcome back. Hello, Doris Alas. Welcome back. Hi, Joshua Mercadillo. Mercadillo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? How do you feel today? ¿Cómo se siente hoy? ¿Qué tal su día? How are you? Feliz día del niño, teacher. Hey, feliz día del niño. Thank you. Todos llevamos un niño en el corazón. That's right. All right. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let us get started. Today, we're going to be moving on with the uh, platform. Eh, ¿Qué se acuerdan de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer en el platform? ¿Qué se acuerdan? Levante la mano. What do you remember about yesterday's class? Raise your hand. ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? Levante la mano. What do you remember, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, we ¿qué se acuerda about, de la clase de ayer? What do you remember? We talk about sports, teacher. For example, can you give me an example? For example, go hiking, eh, ride a motorcycle, mm -hmm. ride a horse, mm -hmm. go swimming, play football, play soccer, play basketball, mm -hmm. and that's all. All right, excellent. And uh, also, we were looking at a conversation related uh, saying, I love sports. Do you remember the conversation? We're going to practice the conversation one more time just to review. Uh, from yesterday's class. Uh, vamos a repasar brevemente eh, la conversación que estuvimos practicando ayer, donde dice el muchacho, I love football, I love basketball. Y le dice ella, eh, ¿cuándo practicas todo eso? Y le dice él, no, no lo practico, solo lo veo en la tele. <laughs> Do you remember? Yes? All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get started with this conversation, which is going to be coming from section number 5.3. Section number 5.3. 5.3. Let's. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Eh, ¿Pueden escuchar el audio? Yes? Okay. So yes, sir. Teacher. Okay. A real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports, I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? 
Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is, who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. I want to know everything a week. I play All right. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to practice the pronunciation. Repeat please. So Justin. So Justin. So Justin. What do you do in your free time? What do you what do, do you do in time? your time free time? time? Well, I love sports. Well, well, I, I love, love sports. sports. Really? What sports do you like? Really? really? What sport do you like? Hmm, hockey. Hmm, hockey. Hockey, Soccer. Soccer or hockey? <laughs> hockey. Hockey. <laughs> hockey. Hockey. Baseball. 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 And soccer are my favorites. And soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're uh, a really good athlete. Wow, wow. you're a really good athlete. 
Uh, when when do you play all these sports? When, when do you play, play all these sports? sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. Oh, oh I, I, don't don't I don't play, play these sports. sports. I just watch them on television. I just I watch, just watch, watch them on television. <laughs> hey, that's nice, right? No playing sports, only watch it on TV. <laughs> no good. Bad news. All right. Does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary uh, at this moment? Do you have any questions referring to the vocabulary at this moment? Questions about the pronunciation or questions referring to the meaning of the words? Preguntas sobre el vocabulario o sobre el significado de este vocabulario? No, teacher. Nobody? All right. So right now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a couple of minutes. Vamos a tomarnos un par de minutos. And uh, we're going to practice the conversations. Vamos a practicar la conversación in pairs. All right. Hello, Ada. Welcome. All right. Are you ready? Are you yes. ready? Yes, teacher. All right. Let's do it. We're going to work in pairs. And here we go. Action. Okay. Justin. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes? Yes. So Justin, what do you what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey. Um baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. Where do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay. Pero yo sí. Hoy, si quieres. Digo. No sé, yo soy Laura, entonces. Ajá, ok, cabal. Bien. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch the on television. 
Ok. Ahora ustedes dos, si, si gustan, no sé. Sea. Ok. Anterior okay. fue Laura, en verdad. ¿Yo? Sí. sí. Anterior fue Laura. Sí, Pi. Ahora soy bueno. yo, sí. Soy yo. Ajá, correcto. Ok. Pues, soy yo, sí. What do you in your free time? Well, I love you sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. When did you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch team in television. Okay. Y terminamos. Y terminamos. ¿Y qué más hacemos? Seguimos. Mm. Dori, ¿ya fuiste las dos? ¿Sí? ¿Ya fuiste las dos? Sí, las dos. Okay. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two, all right, William, William Rosales. William and William Rosales. Let me have two volunteers. All right, Elizabeth Vasquez. Hercules. All right, <laughs> William, you are going to be Justin and Elizabeth, you are going to be Lauren. Action. Okay. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Justin? William? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play the sport. I just watch them on television. All right, good pronunciation. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here with this activity because I need for us to continue. Eh, ¿Todos escribieron acá abajo el mini diálogo? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is move forward to the knowledge check, which is section 5.4 <coughs> knowledge check. Instructions. Complete the conversations with the correct WH question words. Instrucciones. Complete la conversación con la palabra WH correcta. Eh, ¿Ya hicieron esta actividad todos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, Ceci, number one, please. Quiero que empiece donde dice I watch sports on television every weekend. Okay, Ceci, no se le escucha. Okay, vamos con Ceci. Hoy sí me escucha. Ahora sí. Okay, Ceci, empieza okay, donde empiece. dice I watch sports. Allí quiero que empiece. I watch sports on television, in television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to, mark, to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Favorite. When, favorite? favorite? No, favorite. 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 When do you usually watch soccer? 
Very good. When do you usually watch soccer? Select somebody, Ceci. Elmer Misco. Elmer Sixco. Elmer Sixco. Continue. Eh, eh, la que le uh, on Sunday. Eh, on Sunday afternoon. And where do you uh, do you usually watch watch it at home? Very good. And where do you usually watch it at home? Elmer, oh. select somebody. Ceci. Ceci. Yo ya estuve. Ah. Está popular. William. Está popular ahora, William. Ceci. William, teacher. Pobrecita yo. William. Pero William acaba de participar. Está bien. Aquí estamos, teacher. Hoy nuevo. <laughs> no, vamos a darle oportunidad a alguien que no haya participado. Elmer, select somebody. Tenemos también a este, uh, Carla Rojas. All right, Carla Rojas. Please continue, Carla Rojas. No, at my friend's house. She has a really How often do you write reading? Very good. How often do you go bike riding? Continue. Carla Rojas, continue. Oh, about once a month. Once a, about once yes. a month. Okay. Once a month. Select somebody, I, Carla Rojas. Oh, oh. Select somebody, Carla Rojas. Who? Carlos Somoza. Carlos Somoza. No. Carlos Somoza, continue, please. Eh, la última era, ¿verdad? Perdón. That's right. One. Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister come with us next time. Okay, sería who do you go or where do you go? Who? 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 No, donde estamos? Sería when, porque le pregunta, le dice, I love to go bike riding. Me encanta ir en bici. I go every Sunday. Voy todos los domingos. Really? When do you go? ¿En serio? ¿Cuándo va? Usualmente como a la una. Le dice. All right. Select somebody, please, for the next one. Select somebody for the next one. Okay, Ada Ramirez. Se ve que quiere participar. Ada Ramirez. Uh, usually at about one o'clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? Mm -hmm. My sister comes. My sister comes with us next time. My sister. Come with us next time. O sea, que dice, my us. sister, pausa, come with us next time. Okay. ¿Qué la está invitando? Come with us. All right. Uh, ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta o consulta sobre este vocabulario que vimos en esta conversación? Uh, sí, de... el literal B, donde yes. dice, really? Really? Do you, when do you, ¿cómo se traduce ahí? Cuando vas. Cuando vas y así le dice usualmente a la una. Ah, cuando vas. When do you go? Ajá. Vas? Cuando vas y le dice ah, usualmente a la una. Y about 
¿Qué significa? About, usually at about, el about es como más o menos a la una. About ah. es como un aproximado a la una. Ah, entonces se traduciría usualmente voy como a la una de la tarde. That's right. Pleno ah. una de la tarde para que agarre colorcito si está salida. Está muy blanco. Para que agarre colorcito. All right. Let us continue, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be looking at section 5.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen puedo y no puedo. I can y I can't. We're going to listen to the video at this moment. So we're going to listen to the video at this moment. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. All right, now what we're going to do in the next section is we're going to be practicing the phrases. Active. We can also follow the simple rule. Repeat, please. I can act. I, I can act. act. I can act. I cannot. But I can't sing very well. But I can, but I I can, can well. sing very, very well. well. Okay, I want you to practice the phrases. Quiero que practiquen estas frases. Hasta que suene natural. You're going to have three minutes. Three minutes to work in pairs. Three minutes to work in pairs. Are you ready? Yes. I said, are you ready? Yes. yes. No, no. I said, are you ready? Ready. Because <laughs> everybody's like, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. So you got to have a little bit of energy, right? You're like, are you happy? I'm so happy. Are you happy? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right, you can't you can do that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Three, two, one, action. Action. Action like Jesse Jackson ready for action.
¿Y el otro? Can't. Uh, can't. Ajá. Con can't. énfasis en la T al final. Can't. Okay. I can act. Uh -huh. Y el otro es can't. Solo es. But I can't sing very well. No le tomó usted foto. Sí. Fíjese que no. Yo en la plataforma lo veo. Voy a tratar de tomarle una y se la mando al grupo. Okay. Salud. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. O sea, que You're sería? welcome. Sería, eh, I can act, uh -huh. but if can, can, cannot. Sería, I can, I can uh -huh. act, but I can't sing very well. But, but, but I can't. But I can't. But I can't, can't sing very well. Uh -huh. Okay. Otra vez. I I can act, mm -hmm. but I can sing very good. Can't. Haga como. Can't. Como como ah. I can Emphasis. act. Mm -hmm. Que fuera un Ken de Barbie. I can act. Uh -huh. But cannot sing sing very well. But I can't. Es como está contractado, si no estuviera contractado, pudiera decir I cannot, pero como tiene contraction es I can't. Ah, haciéndole énfasis en la T. Ajá, can't. Ok, sería I can act, uh -huh. but it can't sing very well. Solamente que aquí es I, no es it, porque está hablando de primera persona, entonces sería Así, haga el mismo sonido que hace al principio. I can act, but I can't. But, but I can't sing, sing very, very well. well. Uh -huh. sí. Well. Okay. Así sería. I can act, but I can't sing very well. Excellent. Sí, así sería. Ah, ya puedo. Ya puede. También es el can y el can't. Ok, sería... I can act, but I can't. Can't. I, I can't sing very well. O sea, very well. Sería, I can act, but I can't sing uh -huh. very well. Sí, excelente. Pero usted ya puede inglés un poquito, vea. No, <ríe> sí. ya puede. Usted puede bien. Fíjese que sí, pero me metí al principiante. Pero porque, sí. ¿Y por qué se mete al principiante? Porque pensé que iba a aprender algo otras técnicas. Porque a veces así pasa. Que enseñan como truquitos. Ajá. Pero en el otro me inscribí a, a uno más avanzado. Pero algo, sí. Algo se aprende. No, 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 sí. no, no, no nos deje. No nos deje. <ríe> sí. Se repasa bastante. ¿Y usted de qué trabaja? Yo trabajo, vaya, se lo voy a decir en inglés para que practiquemos. Pregúnteme. No. <ríe> Recuérdese que la vez, la clase pasada vimos lo de los trabajos. Where do you work? What do you do? What do you work? No, sería what where, do you, where do you work or what where, do you do? Que, que reiniciar el teléfono tal vez eso era, pero hasta ahorita voy. Creo que estamos haciendo un ejercicio de ICANN, ¿verdad? That's right. Right now we're going to be working from the next section. Now for the next section, I would like for us to please move on and we're going to be analyzing this section over here. Aquí quiero que me den 10 ejemplos en el discussion forum. Me van a escribir 10 oraciones, 5 positivas y cinco negativas. Por ejemplo, aquí Rubén Santos le pones tu nombre donde dice título. Le vas a poner, for example, number one. I can run fast. 
Yo puedo correr rápido. I can cook fish. No puedo cocinar pescado. All right. So me vas a dar 10 positivos y 10 negativos. 10 cosas que sí puedes hacer utilizando el I can y 10 cosas que no puedes hacer utilizando el can't. 10 cosas. All right. You have 10 minutes. Son, son 20 oraciones en total. Son 20. Pero lo va a poner así como lo estoy haciendo yo aquí en el ejemplo. Número 1. I can, positivo, punto. I can, negativo. Y después el negativo. I can. Okay. O sea que en total me van a dar 10. Okay. Lo va a numerar de 1 al 10. <coughs> All right, you have 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. You have 10 minutes at this moment. Ready? And action. 10 minutes. Let's go. No, yes, no. Hello, hello, Elizabeth Ventura. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine. All right. Okay. ¿Qué pasó? Es que estoy desde mi teléfono y no pude cliquear para entrar al chat. Ah, ok. Eh, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es, eh, estamos trabajando aquí en la sección número eh, 5.6, Pronunciation, Can and Can't. Okay, y va puedo... a ingresar aquí abajo, en esta parte, okay. donde dice, I can, yo puedo. Uh -huh. Y I can't, yo no puedo. Ok. ¿Cuántas oraciones serían? Eh, serían 10 y 10. 10 positivas con I can y 10 negativas con I can't. Ok. La va a Pero... poner así como las tengo yo. Número uno, I can run fast. De ahí punto final. Después mayúscula para iniciar la próxima oración. I can't cook fish. No puedo cocinar pescado. Va a ser el negativo. De ahí va a bajar, va a poner la 2 y así sucesivamente. Okay. Tiene 7 minutos. 7 minutos. Thank you. All right, all right. You got it. Let's go get it. Come back with it. Don't forget it. Let me get it one more time for a bottle of wine. <laughs> Carla Rojas tiene pregunta. Dígame, Carla. Hornear en inglés. Um, bake. Bake. B-A-K-E. Ajá. Uh -huh. B-A-K-E. Correct. That's right, Carla Rojas.
Elizabeth Ventura. Hola. La vamos a poner en silencio porque se le escucha. All right, all right. Does anybody have any questions? Are you finished? Do you have any questions? Is everybody finished? Finished here. All right, let us go ahead and continue, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Let's look at the following activity. We still got 10 more minutes, 5.7 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability. 
al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas usando puedo para las habilidades, no para pedir permiso. Puedo de puedo cocinar, puedo nadar, puedo jugar fútbol, etc. All right, so we're going to be looking at can for abilities and conversations. I can't sing very well. We're going to go ahead and listen to the conversation. Listen to the conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. 
After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a compliment. In these examples, there is no compliment, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and coworkers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My coworker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now it's time for you to practice. Now for the practice activity, what I would like for everybody to do at this moment is we are going to look at the first section right here at the bottom. You're going to write in the discussion forum over here, you're going to write the question and the response. When you say where it says, Titulo, I want you to write your name. Then you're going to write number one, for example, and you're going to ask the question, right? Can you sing? And the response, yes, I can sing, but I can't dance. Otra vez me van a dar un positivo y un negativo con la pregunta antes de la respuesta, así como lo he hecho yo. Number two, quiero que escriban acerca de ustedes mismos y sus familiares. For example, can your father swim? Puede nadar tu papá. Yes, he can, but he can't ride a jet ski, right? Puede nadar tu papá? Sí, puede nadar, pero no puede montar un jet ski. All right, so I want you to give me 10 examples, 10 examples similar to these examples. You're going to write the question, the positive response, and then the negative response. That is your homework so that you can continue working on the platform. All right, see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Enjoy your evening. Be good. Bye.
Bye bye. See you. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>